What up, people? So, I had somebody comment my other video saying that they just wanted a quick walkthrough of, of the house. I figured, why not? I have uh, pretty much nothing else to do. I was outside pressure washing all the uh, windows and stuff. Uh, trying to get things just a little bit cleaner around here. I am going to wait until all the animals are completely gone and then do like a, a massive overhaul cleaning on the inside of the house. But for now, I figured I'd take you guys around real quick and just show you what the house looks like at the moment. So I'm going to spin you guys around and let you check it out. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and start in my bedroom back here. Things still need to be clean, so I don't want to hear it from people. But here's my bedroom, nice and empty. I need to go back down there and finish painting a little bit of the trim on the AC unit. I'm going to leave the boards there between the two windows uh, just to give a perspective or whatever, a buyer in the future, an idea of where they could put a bed and stuff. But yeah, nice big windows everywhere. I took down all the blinds. So this room is nice and open. So now everybody and their mother can see me naked when I'm walking around the house at night. So shoot dang to my neighborhood. But yeah, everything's uh, pretty darn empty in here, I'll tell you that. Then I swing it back that way, there's my mattress. That's basically the only thing left in this room. I got a laundry basket over here. <laughs> we'll go into the bathroom real quick. Not much in here. Just the, the shower and stuff. Like I said, I got to come in here and clean everything a little bit more. But I definitely want to do a, some kind of a tile work on the new house like this. I absolutely love it. Nice and tall. Just some touch-up paint and stuff in here. There's the uh, throne back there. If you're new to my channel, this is where my closet is. It's a hidden closet. This thing just slides open. Something we made just to kind of hide the closet area be able to store some toilet paper and stuff. I have to keep it up high enough because Daisy likes to pull toilet paper out and eat it for some reason. But that's the view of my bathroom. Come back through uh, the door, go into the living room area. Still need a sweep and stuff, but it is what it is. I'll do that later on. But uh, I'll be leaving the fireplace and the mantle there. I'll be taking my TV. Took down all the blinds, started cleaning everything. I think when Jason comes down here, we're gonna try to get the couches and stuff on that trip. And then that's basically what's left out of my bedroom is just that case down there that's all my clothes in it and then my bedding. Come back over here, there's the AC unit that'll be staying in the wall. Once again, I cleaned all my windows and stuff. So yeah, I gotta clean everything else. What's left in the kitchen, basically just cleaning materials down here. I just threw them all in the sink. Got my laptop and all my camera gear over there. The island's pretty much empty. Leftover tools and stuff that I'm gonna probably keep just to keep around the house in case I need to tweak anything or a, I was gonna say twerk, uh, tweak anything. Got my little coffee station over here. Some soups and oatmeal and whatnot. Inside of the fridge, freezer's pretty much done, nothing in there. And you get a quick glimpse of the refrigerator. Not much left in there as well. Got my uh, cabinets in here. All empty. Shoot dang. Y'all don't need to see much more than that. I'm going to be taking this little uh, watering station. That's what I use right now to uh, get my hot and cold water for my soups and whatnot. Second bedroom in here. This is the one that needs more work done. Still needs all the trim work. Uh, that whole section back there needs to be done. Probably another coat of paint. I'm not gonna worry about all that stuff. I'll let the new homeowner do all that. But basically that's just a quick run through of my house. You can see there's not much stuff left in here. But it's a 16 by 50 shed in case you're brand new to my channel. It was gonna be a two bedroom, two bathroom. I just didn't finish the second bathroom out. It's gonna end up basically looking like this in here when it's done, so shoot dang. So yeah, that's basically the the tour of the inside of the house. Like I said, it's not much. Uh, it is what it is, and uh, I'm basically just gonna clean stuff up as much as possible. And then once again, just let the, the new homeowner repaint whatever they wanna do. If they wanna change out the flooring, if they wanna change anything out, by all means, they can do whatever they want. Once they get that money in my pocket, this place is done, so. Uh, yeah, Jason will probably be down here, what is today, Sunday, 
I'm going to be going live on Monday. I think he's working on a project and then he'll be coming down here probably a Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm, I'm assuming I don't want to, I'm just guessing. I don't know, to be honest, but sometime this next week, he'll be down here and we'll be getting all the animals. And then, uh, like I said, we'll probably, uh, I'm going to convince him to bring the trailer as well so I can get the rest of this furniture and stuff so I don't have to keep making so many trips down here. So if you're watching this, Jason, now you know what my game plan is. But I guess uh, we can go ahead and, well, I was going to walk outside, but I'm looking at the neighbor's flags right now and you're not going to be able to hear me. It's about 20 mile an hour winds right now, gust, which I should have known that because I was outside pressure washing all this stuff. Um, I still need to repressure wash the cabana that's outside. I did it before, then I went and had a little fire back there and it started shooting ash and stuff everywhere. Plus there was still stuff left on the cabana. So yeah, now that everything's completely cleared out out there, I'll probably run the pressure washer maybe tomorrow or something and uh, get that cleaned out and then uh, just get stuff ready for these animals. I know that they, uh, they're they probably ready for their new home. Uh, I think there's still a couple of little things we need to do with the other property. Uh, we still need to attach the actual fencing to the T-post out there. They have these little metal clamps we can use to do that, which is not a big deal. That'll be a pretty simple task to do. So uh, something like that. And then we got to get a water trough from Jason's place and then a water tote from his place as well. So other than that, I have all the feeders. Uh, he has little chicken feeders and stuff at the off-grid place too that we still need to get. But um, yeah, other than that, the animals should be good. Eventually, we're going to put in a new fence over there as well, or a, not a fence, a new gate at the uh, the new property so we can drive a tractor in there and then possibly start digging them out a pond. If you guys watched, uh, what channel is it? Crocker's Off the Clock, one of those Crocker channels. Uh, Jason walked the creek. I just finished watching that video. Uh, we can pump water from that creek to fill up the little pond there until we actually get a, a water well put in, which we are going to do that. I know people still ask. Are we going to do electric? We can do water. Yes, it's going to be fully on grid, full water, full electric, and all that. So, um, one of my neighbors. It's funny since I've taken out all my curtains and stuff, you can see directly right through this house, which it is what it is. It gives me more of a motivation to get out of here sooner. And uh, yeah, I know my new house up there. Nobody will be able to see me because we're far off the road in the middle of nowhere, and I'll be living in a tent. So, I'm going to go from shed trash to tent trash. So I guess I'll end this video inside my bedroom. I wanted to give you the dimensions of this bedroom. It is a, let's see, it is 12 feet wide by 10 feet long. That's the actual bedroom itself. And then the bedroom and bathroom, excuse me, is 16 by 12. Now, to give you a better understanding, let me, uh, let me go ahead and flip you guys around real quick. All right, guys, so it is 12 feet this way, and that's the length of the building I'm gonna be doing up there, 12 feet by 30. So this is quite a, I mean, it's a little bit smaller than this house. The house I have right now is 16 feet wide. This one's going to be 12, but that'll be plenty enough room to put a couch and stuff over here, have a nice open area and a mounted TV and stuff on the wall. But I wanted to just give you guys an idea. This room right here is 12 feet wide. And then uh, the living room and kitchen area back here from right where I'm standing to that kitchen wall is 20. Let's see, that is 26 feet long. So the kitchen and living room up there is going to be 30 feet long, just to give you an idea. So this is how much room I have right now and about four feet skinnier. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Still got a lot of cleaning to do, a little bit more packing, and then I'll be on my way to Oklahoma. Hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye, people.